simply a dust storm, and I know the word makes a lot of people giggle, but it's basically a word that's actually derived from the Arab word hab, and that means strong wind. Haboob can form when a thunderstorm is present, so it's really common when you have the monsoon season kicking up in the southwest, for example, because as precipitation occurs during a thunderstorm, a rush of rain cool air extends out ahead of the storm, and this can be especially common when thunderstorms collapse. And this rush of wind can sometimes exceed 50 to 60 miles per hour. And in arid areas like Arizona, for example, the wind can easily pick up that loose dust on the ground and carry it for hundreds of miles. Well, haboob is definitely most common in very dry areas because you need that loose dirt on the ground. And it is frequently an occurrence in the Sahara Desert, for example. But closer to home, it wouldn't be unusual to hear about a haboob event in the desert southwest. And Arizona is certainly no stranger to haboobs. You could expect to hear about at least one haboob event during that monsoon season, which on average is between mid-June to September, the end of September, as that is when we have more frequent thunderstorms, and that's what you need to get that gust of wind going in the southwest. You know, haboobs can be pretty dangerous. The problem with these dust storms is that they are so unpredictable and can form very, very quickly. And they have been known to travel up to 30 miles per hour in speed, and the wall of dust can grow to thousands of feet high. And not to mention, they could be as wide as 60 miles. And I'd say the number one problem is the reduced visibility, which can lead to car accidents. That's definitely a common occurrence when you get a big haboob event. And uh, haboobs have been known to shut down airports, knock out power. The best thing to do is to stay indoors if you can. But if you're caught in the road and you start to see the visibility dropping to dangerous levels, you're going to want to pull off the road, put on your emergency brake, and turn off all your vehicle lights. Because otherwise, folks might think you are the road, and then that's when accidents can happen. You want to be especially careful when you're returning to the road once it's over because the loose dust can actually make you lose traction. <laughs> Thank you.